watching for another Wednesday in our Tinder video today. This is gonna be I can't believe what you, what the stranger did in my bathroom. Um, why was the stranger in the bathroom? How did he get in? If I swear to God, if you left your fucking doors open or some shit like that, you're just stupid. Because that's all these videos are like, oh, I left my door open or I left this open or whatever. Anyway, before I get to this video, be sure to like this video. If you do end up liking it, be sure to turn on post notifications and don't forget to subscribe as well. Let's get into this. This happened in the middle of last year. At that time, I was at home with my boyfriend, Dan, watching TV. Dan was deeply concentrated on what the TV screen was showing, so I was about to start making a romantic atmosphere. But then I heard a knock at the door. I got pretty pissed off as it interrupted, but got up anyway and opened the door. We lived with one of our friends, so at the moment, I thought it would be my friend. But to my surprise, it was a man around the same age as me. He looked a little bit tired and was forcing a smile on his face. He was all sweating, and his eyes were red as if from crying. But it wasn't my business to ask. Oh, hello, the stranger said with a wide smile, taking his hand out for me to shake. Hi, I said, looking at his hand and back at him. Can I use your bathroom, please? He asked, still having this huge smile plastered on his face. Before I could say anything, though, Dan came behind me and told the guy that, indeed, he could use the bathroom. The man went in there, and Dan and I just went back to the couch and waited for him. Then I heard some sounds, like water pouring in the bathtub. After ten minutes, I slowly started to get curious, as he didn't come out yet. Two minutes, more two minutes. I told Dan that I should check on him, but he told me to wait a little bit more. So, I just waited, and twenty minutes later, he didn't come out. There was just silence in the bathroom. He probably escaped through the window. Like just something After 30 the minutes, Watch. well, Dan decided that he'd check the bathroom. 30 minutes? Really? Or 40? However, having a bad feeling, I went along with him just to be sure that nothing happened to him. Or you just hey, the door. is everything all right? I knocked at the door at the bathroom, but there was no response. I'm not trying to open it. I'm going to the, the or something. But this time, I knocked loud and yelled. Dan told me to wait a little longer, but I refused. Bitch, I'm not waiting long. I pressed on the handle of the door, expecting it to be locked. But to my surprise, it wasn't. I couldn't believe what I saw in front of me. <laughs> to my horror, there was blood splattered on the floor everywhere. He killed himself and in the bathtub. And the bathtub was filled up with a red liquid, as well with a lifeless body in it. The smell of blood filled the bathroom, and I wondered how I couldn't smell that outside. I told Dan to call 911 while I went over to the body to check his pulse. But when I got closer to it, I noticed that a razor blade was shoved deep in his neck. He was just dead. After half an hour, the 911 arrived with the cops. They took his body and we had to give our report to the cops. To this day, I became more paranoid about a stranger. Especially, I'm positive that letting a stranger use your bathroom is not safe and just nonsense. So, don't let the stranger come out, ever. I did not expect that. I figured he'd be like behind the door trying to wait for them to come inside for, so he can kill them or something, or he escaped through the window. I don't know what I thought. But apparently I, I thought something like that, and that's obviously not what happened. So, frick, what the hell, man. Like, I'd be literally going ape shit if I saw that. Like, because, like, if you're the cops, it's in your house, it's in your bathtub, there's like a razor blade in his neck, you probably have blood on your shoes or something, you know? Like something, possibly... Something. You know? So like, I don't even know how that's like... Like, okay, first of all, don't, like, don't open the door to someone you don't know, like, look through the window, look through the people, see if it's someone you know. If it's not, don't answer it, you know what I mean? Just, just, just don't answer it. That's all you gotta do. I don't answer it. Like, can Kenny Jarvathan kill, kill, kills himself? Like, I'd be freaking traumatized. Like, going into that washroom again, any time to go to the washroom, brush my teeth, do anything. I come in and be like, ooh, like I just look at the bathtub, like see the stains, if there's any stains left over, or I would just imagine, like, right away, that would be freaking terrifying. Holy crap, I would literally go nuts if that was, oh my goodness. Well, that's what you get for laying about a stranger in the bathroom. Like, from what I know, my 20 years of being alive, I've never had anybody knock on the door and say, can I use your washroom? Never. 
So th- thankful for that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if that happened, but I mean, like, you know, what, you know what I mean? Like, that's just that's crazy. The fact that, that someone asked that is just crazy, like to me, like how that. I mean, again, it, it 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 is what it is, I guess. But like, shit, man, like I don't. It was, was he depressed? Like, was he like, cause cause obviously he 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 like self inflicted himself with it. So like, you know, it's not like, you know, I don't know. Like, but again, like after like five minutes, you should already kind of like be skeptical, cause like even if you're going number two, I mean, I guess sometimes it can take a little while, to, uh, 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 depending on you know, but. Definitely not more than ten minutes. Like you, like you would, like you would think after ten minutes, exactly. Like after at least ten minutes, like you'd be out of there. You know, like mo- uh, most people, I'm pretty sure, just use it pretty quick. So, um, but it, like you know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know. But like you just gotta be careful with who you let in your house. Don't anybody you don't know in your house. Obviously, that's first of all. And if you do, then be careful. Like monitor them. Like can you use your washroom? Uh, no. Like I don't. I don't. I don't know you. I don't. No. No. Like you know what I mean? Like just. Just don't do it, like, and then, and then you'll be fine. Because, like, if I was the cops, I'd be, I'd, I'd be questioning them. Like, I'd be like, why is there a dead guy in your bathtub? Like, you'll explain the story. It's kind of like, eh, it's kind of far-fetched to me. But, I mean, someone just asked you to use a washroom and then kill, kill, kill himself in the washroom. Like, you wouldn't really expect something like that, right? So it's like, eh. I don't know. But that's just ter- ter- terrifying if I ever saw that happen or if I ever... Just, like, seeing it in, in, in an animation, that's, that's just scared the crap out of me, too, so... Yeah, well, I'm never gonna let anyone in my washroom. No, not that I did before, but you know, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. He's like literally talk and talk and talk and never shut and never shut the hell up. So, be sure to like this video if you did like if you did like it. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and be sure to turn on post notifications as well, so you never miss any videos I do upload. Again, I upload daily at 12 p.m. every day, two videos a day, and that's how it's gonna be for the next little bit, if not forever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's how it'll be for a while. So. I hope you guys. I, I hope you guys understand, and I hope you're all okay with that and, and everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.